You know, the, it's, it's, it's extraordinary. Uh, 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 when you really think about uh, uh, some of the objections that we had, a lot of them come from people who are very concerned about privacy. And in fact, when you look at uh, uh, what we're doing, this is, in fact, the best thing that ever happened to people who are concerned about privacy. Now, why is that? Um, the first thing is that it is absolutely impossible for us to ever know who you are. We don't tie into anything at all that the ISP knows about you. We don't use IP addresses. We don't tie into their database. It's impossible to infer your identity uh, through any back channel. Uh, but, but perhaps one of the most um, counterintuitive and uh, dramatic advances in online privacy uh, that we're introducing is that it's, it's become ingrained in everybody's mind that in order to show you uh, uh, relevant targeted advertising, there needs to be a big store of data somewhere uh, of what you've, de what you've done, what you've seen, uh, what you've searched for. Um, the revolution that this system introduces is that, in fact, there is no store of data. It has no record whatsoever, keeps no record whatsoever, writes no record whatsoever of where you've been, what you've seen, what you've done. What it does is it takes the random number that represents all we can ever know about you. And as that random number browses, it associates you with product categories. And as it associates you with product categories based on what you're doing in that moment, in that same moment, it deletes where you've been, what you've seen, what you've searched for, and simply keeps the conclusion of what you've been interested in. So in fact, there's no record at all of your activity. There's simply a record of the product categories that are associated with the random number that represents all we can ever know about you, and a timestamp that represents when we made that association. So if someone, for example, were to break into our system, I've heard a lot of things that, you know, what happens if some uh, malevolent person were to uh, steal the data? Or what happens if the government comes to you and, and, and uh, issues an order that you disclose what you know? Well, what would they have? They'd simply have a record of a set of random numbers, a set of product categories associated with those random numbers, and a set of timestamps. Absolutely nothing else. That is a privacy revolution.